There was an article a while in the back of the paper about little Fulton Murray and Riley Hospital uh, fighting for his life on a daily basis. Uh, we got a bunch of shirts, and the guys have been kind of monitoring how he's been doing. He's, he's struggling, but he's hanging in there. The little guy has yeah, got a lot of fight in him. I can use a hashtag, Colton Strong, and, and follow him, but just want everybody to keep the Murray's in their, in their prayers and little Colton um, in their fighting, fighting for his life. Um, as far as the game goes, uh, first 20 minutes, you know, we played uh, like we played earlier in the year at times when we were at our best. We guarded, we put on a little bit of a shell clinic, we really defended, we finished possessions, didn't give them, didn't give them anything easy. Uh, and on offense, it was really good ball movement um, throughout uh, the first half. So the first half was, was the team that we need to beat if we're going to have a chance to beat anybody, and we were. And, uh, thank God we were because we, we thought the game was over at halftime and we did not play very well in the second half and uh, a little lifeless. Uh, it's something we can learn from, uh, but we hadn't been in that position for a while with a lead like that and we didn't handle it very well. And, and Brian's done such a good job with those young guys. They're going to keep fighting and keep playing. Um, he coaches them up and, and they play hard and they do a good job. They just kept coming and, and uh, we were fortunate enough to hang on. But just for one, just happy to, to get a win. Happy to get the guys playing right at, at some point, and uh, hopefully we can continue that and be more consistent. Questions? Greg, the defensive commitment you came out with had to be something that really pleased you. Um, you know, is that kind of the core of where it started today? Yeah, I mean, that's us, Todd. You know, and when we're, when we're good, you know, when we're at our best, we're, we're guarding like that. And uh, like I've told you, we don't have – Ev's a really good one-on-one -on -one defender, and Q's pretty darn good, but we just haven't had, uh, like we've had in the past, maybe some guys that you're guarding that guy and – and we know that that job's going to get done. We have to a little more team defend. We're asking a couple of young guys on the back line, three young guys on the back line, with Amandre, Murph, and, and Bronson to do a lot of things, to do a lot of things. And uh, we flew around. We're, we were very active in the first half. And, and that's the, how we have to play. That's the, how we have to play. And we have to continue to rebound, keep them off the glass. So yeah, that's our, our, our offense a lot goes how we defend. You shared the ball. Um probably the way you intended to in the first half, as you mentioned. Um, big contribution from Jordan Barnes. Brenton, you know, was struggling today, got into foul trouble. And, uh, you know, Jordan's been pretty good this year. But that level of contribution to kind of lift him up was uh, obviously very important. Yeah, the way they play, they really help. You know, and we thought if we had good ball movement, we were going to get sh good shots. And I thought Ev, Ev had seven assists at halftime. He was spoon feeding those guys. And uh, he was terrific. And, and we in the second half, we just didn't move the ball, you know. and. That's on us, a little bit over-dribbled, stand, stand around too much, watching the clock. But in the first half, that thing popped around. We moved really well. That's our offense. That's how we have to play. We have to play like we played in the first half to be a really good basketball team because I think it's in there. We just have to be consistent with it. And JB was a huge lift. I thought in the first half, every guy that came in gave us a good spark. And that's what we need. We thought we were going to be a, a deep team, and that's what we need. We need positive contributions, and not just by getting baskets. In the second half, Everybody that came in made mistakes, so uh, it was a little, it was a tale of two halves, a little bit, but a lot of good that we can learn from, and a lot of negative stuff that we can learn from as well. Did Wait. Bradley make some adjustments at halftime that your kids weren't prepared for? I don't really think so. Played better, played harder, um, you know, and we we didn't play with the pace that we played with in the safe. Uh, we weren't hard to play to get. They were scoring. They were scoring things that we were taking away in the first half. They were getting pretty easy in the second half. And Brown, I love. He's going to be a pain in the butt uh, for four years to guard because he's so creative with the ball. And they got guys that can make shots around him. Their athleticism's good. Uh, so he's got those good good young guys with the two juniors in there. Um, he's building it the right way. And they're going to be tough. Uh, there was no shock when, when Brian came in there that that, that program is going to be right back to where it uh, usually is. And, and uh, I don't think so. I just think we weren't quite as sharp. Uh, and they were, they, were much, they were much sharper than they were in the first half. Greg, why do you think it is, you know, the players have the positive reinforcement of the first half where they see the result of moving the ball around offensively. Is it just natural to kind of rest on your laurels a little bit and not understand what got you there? I mean, that's... Good teams, no. You know, good teams, no. We're not where, we're not where we need to be yet. And you, you can't do that. If you got someone where you have them, you step on their throat. You know, that's what the best teams in our league do. Uh, Illinois State came in here against us and um, jumped on us in the first half. We made a little run, but they stepped on our throat after that. They're like, uh-uh, it's not happening. So it's the maturity level. It's a confidence level. It's a, it's a believe in each other. And, and we're, not, we're not together as a team as much as we need to be. We've shown some good things. But uh, a mature basketball team 
doesn't let that happen in the second half, and then we got to learn from it. And it's not it's not just on the seniors, you know. It's not on the seniors because they're doing what they need to do. It's on everybody else to step up. And um, again, it's it's more of a sign of uh, how good your team is right now. And and that the tale of two halves kind of shows where where we're at. Although there was slippage in the second half, you did get the win. And what do you think that means to the players in terms of just having the burden of you know a losing streak behind them? I mean, it's not a cure all, but it's. I know you, I feel better. You at least don't have the stress of that. Boss. Yeah, so do I. I uh, I'm just happy for them, and I, I say all the time that the reason why I do this is to go in the locker room and see them have fun, see them enjoy stuff, and and doing it together. I, all that matters to me my whole life from a coach's kid is the team, the team, how the team doing, and, and uh, it's been frustrating. And we told each other the truth a couple days ago, and and I think we responded. Everybody needed to get a little frustration out, and uh, by no means are we. Any, have, have we done anything other than win a game, you know, win a home game that we needed to win? But um, hopefully we let some of that, we got to have, have a release from that. There hasn't been any, any pressure on them anyway. But um, we, need to, we need to keep getting better and keep improving and do the things that we need to do so um, we perform like the best Indiana State team we can be. Brenton wasn't on the floor late. Um, I don't know that you needed him, and Jordan was playing obviously well. What was the rationale behind that? Mm -hmm. Winning a game, you know, winning a game, it really was. And I think Britton's, you know, and, and watching him since uh, after Christmas, he hasn't moved like he needs to move. And, he, and I'm talking with our trainers a little bit. He's he's got some uh, some function uh, problems in, in his body that he's got to work with. He's he's got some issues that he's dealing with physically. Um, obviously, with his competitiveness, he doesn't care about that. He just wants to be out there and help him. But he also has to look at the stat sheet and see we had 81 points, we won, and he didn't score. So. The maturity process with him as well is to see that and understand that, and then when you walk walk in the locker room, be excited about it. Be be very appreciative. Be thankful your team got this one with you when you we, you didn't do as well as you'd like to do. Anything else for coach? Greg, thank you.